Often when you work in any project in GIS, you'll find that many of your layers are not in the same projection. And when you're doing analysis, these definitely should always be in the same projection. At the very least in the same geographic coordinate reference system, but preferably also in the same projected or planar coordinate reference system. If you double click your map view, you'll see all the layers in all their current projections added in your project. So I've got one of my layers, the roads that are in transverse Mercator. I've got one, my farm boundaries, which are in WGS 1984. Then I have use, which is unknown. I've got a geology feature class that's got a holiday resort projection. And then I've got the default world topographic map and world hill shade which are in the WGS 1984 web projection. If you right-click the individual layers, you can find out a little bit more about these projections. For example, my road layer has a transmicator projection. It is centered on 27 and uses WGS 1984 as its geographic coordinate reference system. You can have a look at the extent as well. So the unit is in meters, so this is a planar projection, so it's 2D. It ranges from minus 2766135 to minus 2827208. So this shows you that it the values increase away from the top extent, so it's in the southern hemisphere, and it ranges from 4786 to 112907 from left to right. So this one is centered on 27 degrees east and it's a transmicator projection where the unit is meters, so it's 2D and it's based on WGS 1984. If I have a look at my geology layer, I can see that my extent is very similar to the one of my roads. And my special reference is called the Holiday Resorts. But this particular projection is also in meters. It's centered on 27 degrees and it's also using the WGS 1984 as its coordinate reference system in terms of the geographic coordinate system. So the geology layer and the road layer are actually using the same type of projection. It's just in different names. So there are two custom projections here but they actually use the same parameters. It is a WGS 1984 LO latitude of origin 27 degrees transverse Mercator projection, which uses meters as the unit. My farm boundaries, as already seen earlier, are in degrees because they're based on WGS 1984. As you can see here, this is the extent. The top to bottom is roughly minus 25 to minus 25.6 degrees, so this is in the southern hemisphere, and left to right, this is 27 to 28 east of Greenwich. So this is located in South Africa. My final layer, the land use layer, is unknown. So here it doesn't know, or we don't actually know what the units are because there is no projection attached to this particular file or rather the information has gotten lost somehow. But the spatial extent is still shown, and you can see that it's very similar to what the farm boundaries spatial extent is. Because these values are quite small, so 25 and 27, 28, I can be sure that this is not a file that is using a 2D projection, so a planar projection, which would be in meters or feet, anything like that, those values would be a lot bigger. So this is definitely something in degrees. And if you have a look at the special reference here, it's not known. So the land use layer, which is unknown, seems to overlie very nicely with the geology layer, the farm boundaries and the roads. So I can probably just go ahead and say, okay, so I seem to have the same extent I'm just going to assign this a WGS 1984 geographic coordinate system. You could do that, but it's not recommended. Always investigate a little bit further. You should always have a look at the layer itself. If there's any information in there that should give you a clue. So if you open the layer up, you'll see that there is a 
field here called location it says gp comma rsa so that would be Gauteng province in the republic of south africa that suggests that wgs 1984 is probably suitable or alternatively you could use the local datum in south africa which is the hdps tube 1994 but since my farms are already in wgs 84 you can go ahead and define the projection for this particular layer the define projection tool is found in your geoprocessing's tools so you will add your layer Currently, the coordinate system is unknown, but you have decided that it will be the same as the farms, which is WGS1984. And if once you have run the tool and you go back to your feature class, you'll see that the extent now has decimal degrees as units, no more unknown, and the special reference is now set to WGS1984. You can, of course, verify this by having a look at your individual layers. You'll see that farms and land use are now assigned to WGS 1984. You still have holiday resort and you still have the transit Mercator, but we know that these are actually the same. So it would be good practice to transform the one to the other. You're not actually going to change any of the data in this case because the projection is the same. They just have a different name. So you're going to define the projection here as well. You can also assign a projection. You could also reproject if you wanted to, but you're not actually going to do a reprojection from one to the other. You are just going to assign an equivalent projection to just with a different name. So you can say that I want to give the roads the same coordinate reference system as geology, which is the holiday resort one. And when you go back, and have a look at your layers you'll find now that the holiday resort now has two layers within it and wg's 1984 has the other two but if you want to do analysis in this particular project it's always good practice to project everything up to the holiday resort one or the planar projection you do that by doing a reprojection and you'll reproject from the geographic coordinate system of land use and the farms up to a planar projection of the holiday resort of the roads and geology so the tool that you are looking for is called project you can do a batch project which allows you to project multiple features at the same time or you can do them individually in this case because i have two i'm going to simply add them in these are my land use layers and my farm boundary layer so i'm going to simply drag them in then the output workspace needs to be defined the batch project tool allows you to project multiple layers at the same time whereas the project tool allows you to project individual single layers each time into the projection of your choice because we have two we'll consider the batch project one we simply drag the files in we select the output coordinate system that we wish to use we know that we want to use the one of the geology layer or the roads layer in this case and then of course you have to define your output workspace as well in this particular instance, there is no transformation required because land use and the farms are in WGS 1984 and the holiday resort is based on WGS 1984, so there is no transformation required. Once you run the tool, all your layers should now be projected into the holiday resort planar projection. Verify this information by again having a look at your individual layers in your projects so in this particular instance i've got only one remaining the holiday resort and all my layers are assigned to this particular projected coordinate system you also find that i have a table a standalone table that contains information in latin long in order to create a spatial layer of this you can simply create xy data from it and it's very important that you don't assign the holiday resort 
layer file to this because the original information is stored in latitudes and longitudes. This is in degrees because latitudes and longitudes are of course based on a geographic coordinate system, geographic coordinate reference system. And if you use the holiday resort to project into or to display the data into, you'll have an error. I'll illustrate this by running it and I'll do it correctly by using WGS 1984 as well. You'll see here that when I ran it based on WGS 1984, my points, my boreholes actually drew where they were supposed to be. However, when I ran it based on the holiday resort, which is the projected coordinate system, my points did not draw. To illustrate that, I can zoom to the layer. You'll see it's drawing elsewhere. And if you zoom out to see where this drew or where my other extent is, there we have it. This is where my data are actually drawing correctly. And this is the incorrect drawing of the points using a projected coordinate system. And I should have simply used a geographic coordinate system. And this has illustrated how to project a layer, define a projection, to reproject a layer, and how to work with planar projections versus geographic projections.